Hi, I'm Danielle Valiente with Atmosphere Salon. Our topic is how to do vintage updos. I wanted to share a simple way to create a vintage style without having to do too much to your hair. So if you're doing this on yourself, it makes it a little bit easier. I started out back combing the back of my model's hair to create a little bit of volume back here, secured a ponytail at the bottom and wrapped the hair around the ponytail. And I'm gonna do a little detail work in here. I take in a rectangular section on top of the head. That's where we're going to curl the hair. I'm gonna take horizontal sections and spray the hair with a thermal protecting spray and then use a one inch iron to create the curls on top of the head. And when you remove the iron, just kind of clamp it out of place so that you don't disrupt the curl and you could just place a little clippy in there so it holds into place. We're gonna do two sections just like that. Protecting spray on both of those sections. Take your iron and we're wrapping it up towards the top of the head instead of downward. And why we're doing that is because since we're gonna be doing a victory roll is what it's called, a victory roll towards the top of the head, we wanna curl it in the exact same direction that we're going to be rolling it. And then just let those curls completely cool before you take them down. Okay, while the curls were cooling up in the rolls, I just went into the back ponytail and did a little bit of rouging under each of the waves to create some detail in the ponytail. I've started to take out the cooled curls and here's the final piece. And I'm going to use a dressing brush to brush through the curls so they brush all together. And now we're just going to take the hair and it's naturally just gonna to wanna to go in that direction for you very, pretty easily because we already have worked it and curled it to go in that direction. So it'll work that much easier for you. And so I'm just rolling up towards the face and taking some pins and feeding the pin in. We want it to be invisible. So we're just gonna feed those pins into the hair. To create a little victory roll. And then just using some spray to polish and smooth any little flyaways that you may have. And that is how to do a vintage updo.